Here we have the H King Color 250 Mini Quad Frame. The kit includes four 5x3 diatone props and also four 6x3 diatone props. My particular kit came with an extra vibration dampening ball and an extra aluminum spacer. The frame consists of a main base plate with the arms molded in. The arms also have the landing skids molded in. The top plate has a smooth glossy finish on top and a honeycomb finish on the inner side. There's also a honeycomb finish on the inner side of the main base plate and that continues underneath of the power distribution board. The power distribution board has a 5 volt BEC and on top is a standard Mobius style camera mount with uh, vibration dampening balls and up front there is a FPV camera mount. Both the FPV camera mount, the vibration isolation mount, and the main base plate and arms I believe are all made of a fiberglass reinforced plastic. The motor spacing is 257 millimeters diagonally 202 millimeters laterally and 158 millimeters longitudinally. A view on the underside you can see a color 250 H King logo and one unique feature about this frame is the upsweep angle on the arms. I believe there is a roughly six degree upsweep and on the sides there is also a slight upsweep, ang upsweep angle of about one or two degrees. All up weight with the power distribution board that will be 138 grams with the 5 inch props your weight increases to 146 grams with the 6 inch props installed your weight goes up to 151 grams and this is obviously without flight controller motors ESC's etc. Now to give you an idea of the prop spacing here's the 5 inch prop roughly centered on the motor shaft location and here is the 6 inch prop there's about a quarter inch to half inch spacing between the blade tip and the side of the frame definitely enough for a six inch prop included in the kit is a set of instructions the instruction sheet has some basic dimensions some information on the power distribution board and building instructions. The build was pretty straightforward just took me five minutes and uh, yeah easy to easy to assemble. I used a two millimeter hex wrench hex driver and like I said it went together pretty easy this is my first mini quad frame so I don't have anything to base this off of but uh, to give you an idea of the flex can't really tell you how much force that is but uh, it feels pretty uh, 
it's flexible but it feels strong along with the the side there is some flex in the center frame but uh, I don't think it's anything to worry about like I said I haven't used any other mini quads but uh, if you've ever flown a DJI F450 that's what this material feels like and I had a good uh, good experience with that frame I didn't I didn't have any major crashes with it and the frame held up just fine so maybe this frame will also hold up well something to mention on the instructions it says please don't do severe flight movements I'm not sure what that means but uh, maybe they're saying <laughs> has something to do with the durability um, I'll try to make a video later on of how well it flies and how durable it is but um, this could be a frame that's not suited for high speed proximity flight um, I don't really intend to do racing with this but um, I think it'll do just well. I really like the up sweep angle. I've heard good things about some other frames that have that, so I figured it was worth a worth a try with my first frame. Well, thanks for watching. I'll include some more detailed images with dimensions and other things at the end of this video. Something I forgot to mention is the uh, the frame has four posts where the flight controller goes and there are four extra M3 8mm long machine screws now it doesn't say in the instructions but I assume those screws are for these posts the posts aren't threaded um, there looks to be about a two and a half millimeter hole inside and I think you're supposed to use these uh, machine screws in there the screws are the same ones that go around the perimeter. Uh, there's a total of 20 included, 16 for the frame, and again the four extra ones. So I haven't installed it yet, but uh, I will soon find out if these screws fit or not, and I will hopefully post a video showing that. So up next are the pictures, and thanks for watching.